All right, man. I, I need to address something before we actually get into this episode of Ryu. Oh. As amazing and adorable and hilarious as both eyes are, as QSR is, you know, as based as Ginkgo is, Keika is one of the, the, the true goddesses of the series. Let's, let's, let's be honest, all right? Keika is love. And I still feel really bad for her after last week's episode. It was, it's easy to kind of overlook it. You know, and get lost in everything that's happening with, with Yaichi and, and both eyes and everything like that. But, I, I could go for some... I, either we get some more Ginkgo, because Ginkgo has been lacking as, since episode 3. Um, or we get some legitimate Keiko shine and she actually gets some victories or something good happens to her. Or we meet some of these new characters. I'm still waiting on this, you know, this chick with the shark teeth. I think that's probably another contender for best girl for me whenever she comes into it. But I don't really expect to see her until episode 7. At this rate. So we'll see what we get. But either way, smash that like button if you're hyped. Let me get into this episode in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh shit. I fucked up. Rarely do that though. I rarely do that. Now I gotta realign this shit. What a pain, man. What a pain. Alright. 5, 4, 3, 2, one. Who the fuck is this man? Oh, of course you're gonna tell me. Dude, I don't like his vibe. I don't like his vibe. Dual wielder. Oh, that's what I was reading from the man. Yo, Yaichi. You might have somebody else trying to encroach my boy. <laughs> this man, Jin. Just as eccentric as I am in his own way. Bro, he's sincere too. Yo, don't tell me this man just uses shit like that to destabilize his opponents. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, not the Giri Jin, the duo wielder. Trying to make moves on his opponent mid-match. I like him. I like him. I want to see how this uh, dynamic between I and Kudo progresses as well. Should be interesting. Should be a lot of fun. You give Keika more love. You give Keika more shine. It's still crazy to me how many more characters we have to meet. They might have to give this series a second core, dude. They might have to give this series a second core. <laughs> At least you're aware now, my dude. Can't take that man lightly. Three more weeks for you to steal your resolve. Damn. See, he's really skilled. Legitimately beat the man. Yo, cake a bad seed though. Yo. <laughs> Yo, what what are we really talking about out here? <laughs> Damn. 
Damn, Yashi, that's unfortunate. It's all worth it for this cake of for this cake of fan service though. Yeah, she's not gonna fault you for being here on this cake though. Stop saying that, Kick. You're not old. Exactly. That window is closing, boy. Dude, I, I believe in her, man. She'll make it. Yo! What is going on here? They brought her out here? Damn, I didn't know they had a rapport already. Yo, her personality is exactly what I imagined it would be. She'll take that man out. So smug. Bro, she's an absolute goddess. I need to learn her name, man. I completely forgot it. I was hoping they'd say it again right there. I'm content with that. I'm content with all of, of the focus that Cake is getting and getting to see this chick, even if just for a second. Help her out, Yanchi. Oh my god, she's too cute. Yo! Those bloomers though. The bangs covering the eyes. The little bit of white in it. Yo, I love that design. <laughs> it's true, he does the lie. That pout. Seems she's able to control that jealousy just a little bit, though. Bro! Yo, this man is a boss. Look at that design. I like the two-toed hair color too. You see the resemblance with Asuka. King, the leader. Yo. What a lord. Static versus ranging rock. See, that ranging rook style seems far more unpredictable then. Probably allows for a broader spectrum of combinations. Yeah, you can't beat this man, dude. He's a madman! What a lord, dude! <laughs> Bro.
Bro. Finally got a real best boy out here. Two beast. You gonna ask him for advice? If you get that training from Oishi, you'll probably be able to beat this man, Jin. What you really should be doing is trying to fortify your style, though. <laughs> that man's clearly meticulous about everything he does, though. Yo. Dude, I love that Yanshi still has so much room to grow. <laughs> Train that man, Oishi. Good man. Can get shit for free out here, Yaichi. Bro, she's so adorable. <laughs> that lurk! Dude, I haven't heard of that in a while. That lurk, though. Do you see, Yonder AI has been sealed for a little while, but... She's ever freed again, dude. Yeah, she's not gonna survive. That sharp outs. I didn't think it was possible for a character to be that cute. I think we got enough bass scenes for today, thank you. The Keiko one was enough. things properly just be like I step on me dude's low key a lolly masochist haha <laughs> She's so cute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's a little too much. Bro. It's definitely Ginkgo. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
beast. I love her so much, dude. Damn. I mean, you set yourself up for this every time, Yoshi. Curious to see if we'll actually be able to master this new style. We need more Asuka in our lives. Let's not be too hasty, my boy. Exactly. You're just starting to get a hang of the technique. Fuck. Bro. What? Don't scare me like that. Damn. I mean, yo. I feel you, my girl, but you can't let that hinder you at all. You gotta keep moving forward. Exactly. You think she'd be fine with that? If you respect her, you gotta defeat her. And place her dreams on your back and move forward. She'll come to terms with it eventually. Exactly. See, see, I just don't get how you can be so wise and be such a good man in some regards and then be such an idiot in half in some of the stuff you say. It's crazy. Yaichi, man. Damn, that's real. I'm glad she's learning this now, though. Like, what happens if you gotta play Keika for her last shot? Bro, she is a lord. Bro, listen, listen, listen to that piano. Damn. No, nah, it's leagues different than that, my boy. You always are you looking past Jin? Interesting. Exactly. Can't turn a blind eye to that.
exactly. To utilize something unorthodox in order to throw that man. Yo, we're getting the rematch in this episode. This say you sounds familiar. <laughs> Yo, this man, and he's a hundred percent deliberate with this phrasing, too. Yo, don't record that. Yeah, he sounds vaguely like Suda. Sounds vaguely like Suda. A little higher pitch than the man normally is, but it might be him. It's the counter. Yeah, don't let him shake you, my boy. Don't deviate from the plan now. Let's go, my boy. Damn. He got baited. Motherfucker is crazy. Damn, Yaichi. Nah, my boy, you can do it. Dude, it's nice, it's refreshing to see him hitting these obstacles and knowing that he still has a, a ways to go. This series made the right call with what it chooses to make focal points, man. A lot of substance here. Despite getting two bath scenes in one episode and one general misunderstanding this week. No Kuro Ai, which I actually don't mind since I got to meet Shark Teeth Girl and get some cake of shine as well. A little bit of ginkgo. Good episode, man. I like the IG focus. I like seeing him. I like the fact that he's gonna progress as a character. Real MVP is Oishi though, and shout out to Asuka. I need more Asuka, but Oishi's best boy, man. I'm done. Jin's kind of wild, but Oishi's best boy. Looking forward to next week, man. Got to see how the man overcomes. But anyway, thank you guys for joining me. Let me know your thoughts on this episode of Ryuo. 
Smash that like button if you enjoyed, and I'm out. Peace.